What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Okay, now late last night, the shade room took to the internet to post a fight of DJ Academic and his girlfriend. Now he said, now what the shade room explained in the first post is not exactly what went down. And he says a lot of people are taking things completely the wrong way. Now I have the fight clip and I have his reaction, his response, and his explanation to the whole situation. Before we get into that though, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, hit the like button, and leave comments down below. All right, y'all. DJ Academic says uh, him raising his voice like he did in this video here was strictly because women nowadays have extreme masculinity and they're not going to listen to a soft guy uh, try to calm them down or keep them from fighting. I want to know what you guys think after watching this. Tell me what you think. Leave your comments down below. <laughs> speech hey let me tell you this uh the only reason i'm even like because i really wasn't just going to dress this at all but i knew there were probably going to be female blogs that are going to pick this up because i'm not the most like person when it comes to you know like the do with me like that's just what it is fuck with me pause like i have a lot of like most of my audience are male but when it comes to women they can't wait to see me go down you get what i mean so i knew they weren't even going to see it for what it is they're going to be like okay how does this look bad on him and yeah, you know, without no context, you've seen a man in between, like, first of all, a man shouting at a woman, or a man in between two women, and you see fighting, that all happened, look, it look crazy. But, you know what I mean, y'all gotta understand the truth of it, and, um, you know, I, I, I no one, I learned a bunch of lessons here, and, and first lesson is, I can't go out with y'all chicks no more, I'm good. Like, you know what I mean, I think, yo, most women these days are growing up on baddies, they're growing up on these really ratchet, like, they're looking up to... Like, look how many times, like, Shade Room Post, Christian Rock, and Blueface. They really, like, I don't think y'all y'all understand, the, the like, the effect this have, has on women. Yo, women really going out these days to be fighting and doing all that type of stuff. So, anyway, I'm in Miami, bro. I'm on some work trip, bro. Like, literally, I'm here and doing, I'm doing my Spotify thing out here. I ain't got time for none of that shit. But, I hit the club. I hit the club. Again, I really didn't want to bring this chick with me because, like, you know what I mean? Bro, let me tell you, number one, fame ain't for everybody. And a lot of things in for him, like, people don't know how to understand, uh, just deal with it. I mean, I didn't know how to deal with a lot of stuff, and I still don't really know. But what happened is when you have somebody who might be a significant other, bro, mixed liquor and uh, all this stuff is new to them, they don't know how to act. You know what I mean? How, how they going to act? They going to act just like they see every crazy bitch act online. So, anyway, we up in Komodo. For every, like, I don't know. I, I think they were waiting on Burner Boy or somebody to come through. But I guess I got there before Burner Boy every 20 seconds. The DJ just like, yo, academics in here, academics. And so it's like a fucking siren. I ain't saying I'm no, like, you starting or like that. But, like, the bitches in there be like, yo, let me just go take a picture. I'll probably see more online type shit, right? So chicks is coming up. Even too, they just want to come take a picture. Bro, I'm used to this, bro. I don't go out in public if I'm not ready for this shit. I always said this. I've, this has been my life for a little while. Bro, the chick I'm with, she under the liquor. The liquor kicking her ass, nigga. She battling with the demons, nigga. Like, the demons of tequila, dog. Like... So, like, you know what I mean? You know how girls, when they get drunk, they get a little loud. I ain't tripping on that. But now, she's seen just girl after girl coming up, hugging, taking pictures. You know what I mean? Like, she's just, like, she's kind of just like, she's like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? And I'm like, bro, like, you do know who you're with, right? Like, you, you like again, I ain't the biggest nigga to pause, you know what I mean? Like, in terms of, like, a popular person. But you're in Miami at a very popular place. And they see somebody who they think they know. They want a picture. Bro, she's starting to get jealous. All right, cool. I, I kind of notice a little bit too, but everybody noticing. 
Nigga, I'm standing on the thing. Girl, come up. Picture. Girl, come up. Picture. She all of a sudden just start bulldozing these chicks out of the way. Like, yo, get, yo, yo, what's up? Like, yo, you know, you with me. And I'm like, yo, you know, Shorty just wanted a picture. Like, chill. She just wanted a picture. Relax. Bro, she's in her feelings the whole time. Like, she like, and I'm like, yo, don't you understand what comes with dating somebody who has some type of attention? This ain't your local. But, but, but this, this way, you know, I'm fucked up. You know, I'm taking a lot of blame for this. Like, you know, just how I mentally, um, I'm processing this. Bro, like, you can't just grab any type of chick and be like, yo, come on. Like, we, we gonna live a different life. We gonna be here, there. No. These chicks been dealing with, dealing with bums, crackheads, drug dealers, scammers. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so, like, this shit is affecting all of them. Anyway, I ain't even trying to be too negative. I'm just trying to just keep, keep it factual. All right, bet we in the club. Now, I'm with people. That's the thing. I'm with other people. So, there's a couple of girls that's with us. There's a couple of dudes with us, too, right? The girls are noticing this because none of them is like that. Like, you know what I mean? I, they, didn't have a, they didn't have a nigga, though, but they're not like that. They're noticing, yo, yo, why is Shorty mad extra? Like, you know what I mean? It's mad obvious when people are looking at you. You're in a club and your drunk significant other is in your face like, yo, you know who you here with? Like, yo, she thinks it's on a reality show. I'm looking at her like, you know, like every nigga looking at us in here. Like, you know, what, what are you doing? Right? Again, I'm still blaming on the alcohol. You know what I mean? It's tequila kicking her ass. All right, bet. I'm walking out the spot, so we leaving the spot. We're supposed to go to another spot. I see another girl who's who says, yo, act, what's up? And she kind of runs up. My chick wasn't with me, so she was in the bathroom or something. So she comes out a couple seconds later. She sees this girl basically talking to me, and she just motherfucking pulls like a truck stick move, nigga. Boom, hit the chick. Knocks her out, and then, well, not knocks her out, but, like, she kind of shoulders her, like, yo, whoa, hold on, it's my nigga now, what you doing? So she started talking to me, like, so she's in my face and shit like that. She's like, yo, what, what you doing? Like, yo, you wilding right now. So that's what she's saying to me. I'm like, bro, I'm not wilding. People just want pictures. That's just all it is. People just want a few pictures. That's it. Bro, she is tweaking. Why are you entertaining bitches? Why are you doing this? Why are you this? Yo, I'm here. I'm like, bro, these chicks just want a picture, my nigga. Bro, the other girls who was watching this, watching her baby the whole night, one of the girls, that's the girl you're going to see, that's the, that's the bigger girl who, who she had, like, red hair. I guess she's looking at it like, yo, this is embarrassing. Like, I is getting embarrassed. Y'all know I can't do nothing, right? Like, I can't. I could shout, but I can't put hands on nothing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a dude, right? So she's getting, like, she's in my face. Like, you know when girls get up in your face doing all of this shit? Oh, shit. So you know what the other girl does? The other girl swings on my girl because she's looking at it like, yo, you disrespecting your man. He can't do nothing about it, but I'm a girl. So I'm about to fuck you up for him. Obviously, that's that, that's not what I want to happen. You get what I mean? Like, you know, I take all responsibility for for, for, for not being with a woman who, who knows how to, number one, handle her liquor. Number two, act in public. But the other chick was really just trying to help out. Like, all right, bro, I'm, yo, this bitch is acting up. I'm about to just get her in line. Anyway, she punches my chick. I'm like, oh, shit. So now I'm trying to just diffuse it. Like, yo, let's not, yo, y'all don't fight. Relax. And I'm telling her, I'm like, yo, you're wildin'. You are wildin'. Just chill out a bit. We about to get out of here. That's when that video kind of cuts on. So I'm, I'm, I am shouting at her, right? I'm shouting at her. I'm like, yo, bro, chill. Because she's looking like, yo, she's trying to fight. I'm like, nigga, we're in public. Chill. Like, nigga, I'm not blue faced, nigga. This shit is embarrassing to me. I don't know how niggas make money, but I can't make money out of ratchetivity. Like, I've never, I don't do reality shows. I make my money by by beating these record labels over the head and doing YouTube videos and other shit like that and podcasts. Nigga, I don't make no money off ratchetivity, my nigga. That's never been my thing. So I ain't signed nothing with no fucking um, reality show yet, and I ain't going to do it now. You know what I mean? So I'm like, when you see Blueface doing that shit, that nigga's just a down to reality show. So like, I don't do that type of stuff. So I'm looking at her like, yeah, bro, you embarrassing me, bro. That's what I'm saying to her. The other girl, oh, anyway, yeah, she hits my hat off, and then they get a chance to square up. She swings on the other girl. The other girl got friends with her. The other girl, like, says something. Her friends jump in, and I'm over here using my body as a human shield type shit because at the end of the day, you know what I mean, even if my chick was disrespecting me and wilding out in public, granted she was drunk, you don't want nobody to jump your girl. You feel what I'm saying? Nor, but, but also, I can't hit nobody. I can't, I can't hit the other girls. I just got to be like, yo, chill. Let's... Kind of break it up. Whole time, Miami police is right there. Miami police to our left looking like, yo, they're having a blast. Like, they might have been recording too. 
Everybody recording. Like the niggas I'm with, they recording. Nobody helping. Everybody got a phone out. Like, like fuck TMZ and paparazzi. Everybody paparazzi. I'm looking at the Komodo staff. They recording. I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm the only one trying to stop this fight. Anyway, it, you know, um, they eventually do jump in. And um, basically, you know, they kind of, they put my chick in cuffs. So they put her in cuffs because she's the one who kind of started, well, you know what I mean? She she got hit first, but then, like, what everybody saw is when she, the second round of it, she kind of, like, punched the girl first. So anyway, she ain't get locked up or nothing like that. Um, but, you know, shit, this shit is embarrassing. You know what I mean? Like, again, number one, you know, shit, I was having a conversation with her today trying to explain. I'm like, bro, you're with a nigga who they want to see in some dumb shit like this. You're with the nigga who they, they can't wait for me to, like... If they have me throwing a punch on a woman, oh, oh my God. Nigga, when Shade Room first posted it, this shit had 10,000 comments, like 10 minutes. So I'm hitting them up. I'm like, bro, like, this is what really went on. This I bet. We reposted. They reposted with some context, no views. Nobody gives a fuck about the truth. But anyway, you know what I mean? Um, overall, because, you know what I mean? Again, you know, I talked to, I talk, uh, I made sure I talked to the cops to make sure nobody got sent to jail. No charges being pressed between the women. Um, but that was my role. You know what I mean? I was just trying to break up the fight. Um, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take responsibility as a man for it though because in the line of work I'm at I can't bring around women who are gonna be doing that I don't like that type of bullshit you know I rarely go out myself so if I'm going out with a woman and she's jealous knowing that people like you know I'm hosting an event tomorrow in Jersey it's gonna be mad people there I don't know who who gonna be there you get what I mean like I don't I can't be with no jealous motherfucker just. Like, just all on me looking at, like, yo, what's going on? Which bitch you with? Which we taking pictures? Like, nah. But also, you know, shit. shit. I mean, I look I look at her. She got to take accountability for her actions. But um, that shit is embarrassing, man. That shit is embarrassing, bro. That's all I'm going to say. That shit is just embarrassing. You know what I mean? I think a lot of people enjoy these type of situations. For me, I, I got the most to lose. And that's another reason. I think I even came to that conclusion. Because I don't, you know... I don't, I don't fuck with famous chicks. I like chicks. I like regular girls from like regular neighborhoods who probably live regular lives. But I do understand that when they come into my world, like the way they've dealt with the guy is probably a little bit different. You know what I mean? And, you know, I, I, if there's any woman watching this shit, y'all probably act the same way if y'all nigga was talking to 30 chicks in a club. But still no excuse. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, I, I think I kind of got like just the major shit out of the way. But um. Yeah, it's it's girl fighting shit. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it all the way a beam. Like nigga, I kind of knew this chick was like she kind of liked that because I've had conversations with her. I said I've never been with no. I don't want to be with a girl. There's a few things like I'm on some finesse two time shit. I don't want my girl to be masculine. I don't want my girl to be over here. Like if if I can't be with a ratchet bitch, man, I hate ratchet bitches. I can't be with a bitch who trying to fight constantly. If we going out, you swinging. If you looking to fight. If you think you Debo, like, my nigga, I'm not trying to be with no girl like that. So, like, I was talking to him. I'm like, bro, when I when I met you, you was a nice, sweet girl. Now I'm realizing, like, you Krishan Rock, too. I'm not finna be with Krishan Rock. Hell no. Nah. I'm not being with no bitch who think that as soon as we get to the club, I, I start having fun. You fighting. Like, this ain't gonna happen. These chicks think that. They think Krishan Rock, too, bro, is, like, that's the mode. Like, like, but, but, but you know what? I'm gonna tell you why I'm gonna blame myself. Because... We always, like, as men, we always see the, 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 the red flags. I'm meeting Shorty, and Shorty tell me about her, like, her best fights. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? What type of, what type of conversations is these? Like, all right. Um, yeah. And, yeah, and, and, and by the way, yo, the shade room, you can't win on there as a guy. Last thing. I'm on the shit, right? And, um, oh, no, no. They were like, yo, since they couldn't say, oh, I hit nobody. You know what they said? Yo, you were shouting. Bro, you ever see two women when they lock eyes and now they're ready to throw heels? They ready to pull hair. They're trying to snatch wigs. If they're drunk, my nigga, like, you gotta literally, you gotta, you gotta raise your voice a little bit. Like, nigga, yo, y'all niggas chill the fuck out. You know what I mean? You think if you think you gonna be a man and be like, oh, could y'all please not fight today? These bitches is masculine these days, dog. These chicks like nigga, you gotta raise your voice a little bit. You know what I mean? But um, again, I'm just happy that nobody got arrested. 
However, you know, who ends up losing in the end? Because who's the person here on live explaining it? Everybody having a blast. Everybody recorded it. Everybody put it on YouTube. Everybody's loving it. And my nigga Measy called me. He was like, yo, act. You going through the same thing you, you do with rappers. And I'm like, I wouldn't even care about the situation if it wasn't sensitive. Because anything with women, they're trying to get mad at me. Like, like yo, I seen, I seen some of these dumb hoes in the comments say, yo, yo, don't. Yeah, this was for, for Reginae. What the fuck Reginae got to do with this shit, nigga? You know what I mean? So, again, unfortunately, um, you know, unfortunately it happened. Unfortunately, there's a video like that. And unfortunately, you know, I never like seeing women fight. Like, I'm one of those dudes. I want to see women fight. But um, I'm very happy that, that, that some people have some common sense and they kind of put it together to be like, okay, bro, it just clearly looks like he's breaking up a fight. What do you want him to do? Now, granted, this is how you can't win. I'm going to tell you how you can't win. I'm going to tell you how you can't win. If I if I step back, because that's what everybody said to, should do. Nigga, Komodo staff not doing anything. Nigga, the, the cops over there, they're laughing. Like, that nigga's laughing like, yo, let bitches fight, man. We, tonight been boring. The other dudes I'm with, they got the cameras out, which I'm looking at them like, yo, damn. Like, nigga, nobody on. So anyway, if I don't, if I don't do nothing and then the story comes out, because it was going to be a story regardless, right? The story going to be like, yo, academics girl gets jumped by three bitches. And he does nothing. He don't even try to stop it. Shader would still be on my head. Yeah, I knew this was a bitch-ass nigga right here. He ain't even stop his girl from getting jumped. This nigga's a hoe. You know what I mean? We need a real man. You know what I mean? You can't win, nigga. You just can't win. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> somebody said, I got my hat tossed like Bobby Schmurda. That's a fact. That's a fact. You feel me? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, other than that, other than that, man, yo, I appreciate y'all, all right? Listen, thank y'all for, 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 um, just, like, using a little bit of common sense and just not riding with a narrative. Anyway, I'm out of here. We'll talk more about it on stream. I'll be on stream.